Hi everyone, it's Lindsay on behalf of Trendy Me, and today we are sharing the third video in our Trendy Tips series. This series covers fun and exciting trends that you can apply to your everyday life. We talk about makeup, fashion, beauty, skincare, home decor, lifestyle, among many other things, and we break down the trends and show how you can apply them to your everyday life. Today we're talking about a beauty trend that is perfect for the summer months. This trend was seen all across the runways for spring and summer of 2016, and it was found on everyone from models to designers, celebrities, and more. The trend we're talking about is the candy apple lip. I absolutely love this look for the summer months, and I think that it's perfect for adding a bit of color into your beauty routine. It's super easy to apply this trend, and it's so perfect for every skin tone and makeup look. The Candy Apple Lip incorporates a red lip while still looking natural but flushed for the summer months. The Turk is finding a red that's going to match your skin tone. On the runway, we were seeing lots of cool toned reds and a little bit of a pink undertone to really give that Candy Apple look. You can find these lip colors everywhere from the department store to the drug store, so you can easily find one that fits into your price range and will look fabulous on your skin tone. Today I'll be breaking down how you can get the perfect candy apple lip and sharing my favorite tips and tricks for the perfect application. With that said, let's dive right in and break down how you can get this perfect candy apple lip for yourself. The first step to achieving the perfect pout is to make sure that your lips are exfoliated and primed. I love using either a lip scrub or a toothbrush to get my lips exfoliated before applying any lip products. If you use a lip scrub, you can buy your own or you can make a nice concoction of brown sugar, olive oil to really exfoliate and buff off the dead skin cells. Otherwise, you can use a trusty tool like a toothbrush to make sure that all of the dead skin cells are wiped completely away and that you're starting with a fresh palette for your lips. Simply use a dry, clean toothbrush to buff off the lips, moving any dead skin cells and imperfections. Exfoliating your lips also increases blood flow, which will help make your lips look a bit more plump and full before applying your lip products. After you've exfoliated your lips, go in with a chapstick or hydrating lip product to ensure that you're putting moisture back into your lips before applying any lipstick, lip liner, or gloss. Now the fun begins and we can go in with the lip color. Starting with a lip liner, you're going to want to line the lips to ensure that your lip color doesn't bleed into any fine lines, as well as you can adjust the shape of your lips. Lip liners are perfect for making your lips look more symmetrical or bigger or smaller, depending on what you're looking for. Make sure your lip pencil is sharpened, and you're gonna go in and just lightly line the outside of the lip line. I also like to go in and fill in the outer corners, which helps give the lip a little bit more of a plump pout. Next, go in with your lipstick. For this, I love to do a little bit more of a dabbing motion rather than a swipe because it tends to give the look that we were seeing on the spring-summer runways for the candy apple trend. I really love this look for summer. I think that by dabbing just a little bit, it really gives a natural look while still depositing color and giving a nice pop. I think it looks so fresh and beautiful, which is exactly what you're looking for in the summer months. Lastly, I love to finish off with a little bit of lip gloss. This step is totally optional, but I think that a little bit of gloss adds some fun shine and can give you a nice pouty look. I'm taking a sheer tinted gloss and I'm just going to apply it in the center of my lips. This is going to really accentuate the center pout area, which will give a nice natural lip while still making it look hydrated and fresh for summer. And there you have it, a candy apple lip that's so perfect for the summer months. This is a fabulous look without being too dramatic, but still adding some fun color to your makeup look. You'll be seeing this in magazines, TV shows, and all across celebrities for the summer months. So by adding this look into your makeup routine, you'll be right on trend for summer. Thanks so much for tuning in and be sure to check out the other two Trendy Tips series videos. If you're looking for more content, head to trendyme.com slash blog for other fun and exciting articles, sharing lots of other tips and tricks for the summer months. If you love makeup, be sure to check out the new Advanced Trendy Me Makeup course, which you can find at trendyme.com. 
If you love this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Trendy Me YouTube channel. You can also find Trendy Me on all social media channels at Trendy Me. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.